Hello, and welcome back for another episode of the Kraus House of Art. I'm your host, Mr. Kraus, and I'm bringing art to your house. Here's an example of what we're going to be creating today. But before we start, we're going to do a little warm up. For the warm up, we'll need a pad of paper. I'm going to do a quick drawing. Now we're going to add a little color. For this warm up, I'm going to ask for a little help from my friend Hugh. Hey Hugh, what do you think is unique about my son? That's right, the colors are unexpected. Some artists use colors that you wouldn't normally expect to see. That's what we're going to be covering in this lesson. One artist who's known for using unexpected colors in his paintings is Andy Warhol. Here's an example of his style. Andy Warhol was a leading artist of the pop art movement of the 1960s. Warhol began his career as a commercial artist. The essence of his work was removing the difference between fine art and commercial art. One thing Andy Warhol is known for is repeating the same image multiple times but using his unique color style that we talked about earlier. Now that we've learned a little bit about the style of Andy Warhol, we're going to start our project. You ready, Hugh? Great, I love the enthusiasm. Before we start, let's go over what materials we'll need. We'll need paper or a canvas, a pencil, a permanent marker or crayons, watercolor paints, a container of water, paint brushes, and a roll of paper towels. Now that we have our materials, you're going to find a familiar object to paint. Choose something with a simple shape, like a soccer ball, or a backpack, or your favorite food. Andy Warhol painted Campbell's soup cans, because he likes soup. I like peanut butter and jelly, so my first painting was peanut butter, and now I'm going to do jelly. You can either do this project on paper, or on canvas, like me. If you're doing the project on paper, you're going to fold it in four sections, like this. If you're doing it on canvas, you're going to divide it in four sections like this. Now that we have our four sections, we're going to draw our object in pencil. Be sure to have your object in front of you for reference. Now that we're done our sketch, we're going to go over it with either a permanent marker or a dark colored crayon. I'm going to use a permanent marker. Wow, wow, wow. 
Plan a different color scheme for each section. Remember that the background is an important part of your color scheme. We're going to start with the background. Remember, every time you switch colors, clean your brush and rinse it off real good. Here's a neat trick. If you don't have watercolors, you can use a highlighter or a water-soluble, washable marker, and you can color with the marker and then paint over it with water and it'll work similar to watercolor paints. Now that our background's done, we're gonna start painting our objects. <laughs> At this point, you can paint it how you like. Just remember to use unexpected colors. You're going to be changing your colors a lot, so remember to keep washing your brush every time. If you're getting drips, you can use your paper towel to wipe them off. Here's our finished painting. As you can see, we used unexpected colors and made sure the object looked unique in each section. I hope you had fun doing this painting with me. I'll see you next week for another episode of the Krauss House of Art.